Plenty to talk about. Good first half. State Farm halftime show coming up. Check him out in the locker room. His play resumes 17. Prescott keeps. The call Seattle timeout here. That's his second, time here. Out of the half. second. second timeout. Five weeks as far as the trust and confidence that he has in the people around his first half. 75% completion percentage. And he almost gets sacked, and then the flag is thrown, and he does get sacked, and we'll see about the penalty. Yeah, it's going to be holding on the left guard, Smith. Right, that's Leonard Williams who comes in there, picked him up uh, earlier in the season in a trade with the New York holding. Giants. Offense, number 73, 10-yard penalty, replay second down. Indeed, it's on Tyler Smith. So they're going to replay second down, second and goal. Yeah, Draymond Jones moving from the inside out to the outside. He'll come from your far right on a little twist. And there's where Smith has to grab onto him to try to keep him away from his quarterback. Nice call there by, by Clint Hurt, the defensive coordinator. Correction, Seattle has elected to decline that penalty. Yeah, I was just going to take say. Take over the play, which is third down on the 10-yard line. Right, yeah, no I mean, need to take point, that. Right, yep. you don't want to give him an extra play at this point. Yep. Yeah, so they, they decline the penalty. And it's going to make it third down, third and goal now. But tonight, Seahawks can't get off the field on third down. Dallas 7 out of 9 in conversions. Dallas takes its first time out of the half. This yeah. will be a 30-second timeout. 30 second time. Interesting game on, on so many levels here. You know, we talked both teams obviously beforehand. The other thing I'm thinking about, you know, trap game is an overused phrase, yeah. but when you look at Dallas's schedule, the way they're playing and the way Seattle's playing, you know, this could be yeah. a semi trap game. Yeah, I think so. I, but I, I do think Dallas is executing pretty well. I think they just run into a different Seattle team. I, I think Pete Carroll got his team, let's face it, Thanksgiving national TV. They got embarrassed by the 49ers. Niners played great. And I think he's got an angry team that's trying to make amends for, for not just last week, the last three of the last four weeks. But I'll tell you what, good plan against this explosive Dallas offense. Playing a lot of zone, trying to keep everything in front of them, make Dak Prescott be patient with the pass game, and then see if you can hold him out in the red zone and force field goals. Third down and goal. This will be their 44th play of the game. Seattle's run only 18. Prescott. He can run, but he can't get to the end zone. He's going to be stopped at the three yard line. That's Bobby Wagner saving the touchdown. Now I have a fourth and goal. So 138, that stops the clock. Seattle takes his third time out. Timeout. Please put one minute 40 seconds on the game <laughs> clock. 140. Pete getting escorted back to. <laughs> Where the officials think he belongs. You know, that's the aspect of Dak Prescott's game that is still there. You know, in his eighth year, you get everybody covered. You better still account for Dak Prescott pulling it down and, and taking it off. He almost made him pay for it. Bobby Wagner ends up making a good play to keep him out of the end zone. All right, so you have a sure three, but they'll shoo that at least for the moment. Line up to go for it. Fourth down and goal. 16th play of this drive. Started back in their own 25. They're going. Prescott looking, rolling, flag. And for the moment, he will get into the end zone pending the call. But here's Blakeman to tell us holding, holding offense on Dallas. 10 yard penalty. We play fourth down. Right tackle, Terrence Steele. And now McCarthy says, let's bring in the three point gang. Well, Steele is the one spot on this offensive line where he lunges a bit, times gets himself out of position, 78. And, and this time he just grabs on to Leonard Williams. It wouldn't have mattered with the penalty, but if he would have gotten this ball out early, he looked here. I thought he might go to this matchup. You see that little hesitation by C.D. Lamb? By the time he started to go to the corner, he came off of him, but he had him beat. So a 31-yard attempt for Brandon Aubrey, who is 23 of 23 in his rookie season. And the one-time soccer player at Notre Dame didn't play football there. Will make it just inside the right upright. And a flag comes in after the play. He was getting chippy on that last play, and then the flag comes in after the kick was signaled good.
Do you know Smith ready to come back out? They've got a minute and 30. <laughs> right there. So Aubrey for the moment 20 to 14. Cameron Young was involved in some action here at the end. Yeah there he is. Throwing Brock Hoffman. The snapper on the, the field goal field is goal. good. And after the play we have a personal foul defense number 93 and that 15 yard penalty will be assessed on the kickoff. Timeout. All right, 90 seconds remaining in the half. It's a six point game at AT&T. So a minute and 30. Great disparity there in time of possession in this quarter in the plays, but it's a six point game. And the Seahawks will get the ball. And we go to Katie. This week, DK Metcalf said that he put his focus on doing his job because he realized as the Seahawks offense was struggling, he was caught up trying to do too much. Well, if you look at him after he scored that first touchdown, he's saying in sign language, standing on business. That slang for taking care of your responsibilities, which was exactly what he was focused on this week. He's actually been challenging himself to learn sign language. He took a course in college, and now he's seven classes into a new program. He says it's a way to get his mind off of football. It also comes in handy on the field. Yeah, it's good to know, Kay. Maybe the censors are having a hell of a time trying to figure that out. <laughs> From the 25-yard line on first down, that pass is overthrown. It yeah, had uh, Parsons, who else? Coming in and knocking Smith down at the end of the play. And how about this? You got a 41 year old right tackle who's seen it all, and he's thinking, man, I got to be out here on an island against Parsons in a two minute offense. It, it tight end chips, it still doesn't slow him down. And Pete Carroll's smart to use those timeouts. Remember, Seattle gets the ball to start the second half, but they got a chance here. They're looking for the two for one. And this is Charbonnet taking it out to the 33 yard line. Of course, Dallas has two timeouts. They could use them too. Of course, they are likely to if they don't pick up the first down here. And it's all right on this play right here. Third down. If they're able to pick a, a first down up here, they, they'll go to a different level of urgency. They're trying to get one of the linemen back in the in the huddle, Anthony Bradford. It's interesting, the clock usage here. Yep. You don't want to go too fast because if you don't make it, you leave, you leave Dallas right. enough time. So the clock keeps ticking down, 48-47. And that pass to the outside, and that's a first down as the catch is made there by Schmidt and Jigba. And so with 41 seconds right now, they will take the ball at their own 43-yard line. And that's the matchup they've got to try to work. Jordan Lewis is, you know, back from an injury, the, the, the foot injury that he had last year. And this rookie, could, could, if he gets one-on-one -on -one like that, he can do that kind of damage all night long. And plus he gets out of bounds. Here comes Parsons. Smith escapes. Low throw, flag thrown, and Jigma went to his knees. Incomplete, incomplete to begin with, and a flag. In a conference. I think five, five officials are in there. It's a, it's a Supreme, Dallas, Supreme Court ruling. Dallas is off sides as one of them. Yeah. Okay, meanwhile, I could use that right there. <laughs> we, we all could. <laughs> Demarcus there are two Lawrence. against the defense on the play. Illegal contact, number 21. That penalty's declined. Offsides, number 92. It's a five yard penalty. First, it remains first down for Seattle. All right, there you go. That was Jer Jaron Reed who was getting a. Look. Yeah, they, they get a first. We, we would enjoy. First and five with the, the offsides instead of taking the, the defensive holding, you'd be a first and 10. So a smart decision here by Seattle. And, you know. Not very far. They, they get into field goal range. What a what a stop by their defense, and a good job of, again utilizing their timeouts. 
And these are the two most penalized teams in the league coming into the game. And living up to it tonight. Nine total calls. Smith fires incomplete. Tended there for Tyler Lockett. Second and five. Now you got 31 seconds. But when you when you put two or even three offensive linemen on number 11, which at one point, watch him. He's down here. Watch, watch how you get two, and then the center comes over, and now 92 to the middle. You have Lawrence, who's one-on-one. -on -one, 92 gets one-on-one, -on -one, and it forces, even though, again, they don't get the sack, but it forces these other very capable pass rushers to get chances because you pay so much attention to what Micah Parsons can do. Second down and five, 33 seconds. Play clock at two. Little lofted pass here. And Next to nothing is DJ Dallas makes the catch and that took a few seconds. The flag is down again. And how hard is it to run a two-minute offense offside. against his pass rush? Defense number 56. And especially when they're offside. Five yard penalty. <laughs> Yards are enough for a first down. Yeah, so it was second and five. So that's a first down now. It's on Fowler. Spots the ball at the 47. See Fowler's hand at the top helmet. I mean, they have so many pass rushers. You got 90, Lawrence, you got 56, Fowler. Not just about Micah Parsons. In the pocket to the outside and rolling, and that pass yeah. is caught. Better hurry. That, that's Tyler Lockett. Stayed in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. 18, 17, spikes it here, 16 seconds. Now it's gutsy call here. Decision for Pete Carroll. He's going down talking to the special teams coach. Because, you know, if, if you don't get out of bounds, you're out of timeouts. Yeah, you're looking at a 57-yard field goal from here. And clearly they go to the sideline. Nice play there, lock it. That'll move them closer. Now I have no idea why Bland would give him this kind of cushion to, in this situation. Yeah, I mean, because obviously you want to get the, the yards, but look look at this. And, and a guy like Geno Smith sees that Al Harris, the defensive back coach, I think he's frustrated with that that big of a cushion. That's just stealing and puts him that much closer to being able to get in the field goal ring. Only took a handful of seconds off yeah. as well, so you have 13. You still have time for a play. You got three guys stacked on the left side. So Smith, let's see if he looks that way. And he does, and he's got to get rid of it in a hurry. And throws that one to the end zone! And the catch is with Smith and Jigba. With a flag thrown, what else is new? But for the moment, the Seattle Seahawks have a touchdown. This is what Jackson Smith and Jigba does best. Pass interference, defense number 26. Wow. Penalty's decline. It's over play. It's, a touchdown. It's, it's amazing. I mean, Bland has had such a phenomenal season, a phenomenal month, and they're going at him all night long. But uh, tracking the ball is what this guy does. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're going to take a peek they to sure see are. if that ball allowed to hit the surface, but did he lose possession? Did it move at all? Terry McCauley, what are you seeing initially? Al, it looks like he gets control before the ball hits the ground. And, and I think he maintains control. It appears that he does. The There's some, ball, is under some review. movement, but I don't see a clear loss of control there. You're trying to just see, Terry, you're trying to see any kind of movement after it hits the surface? No, any kind of movement. It's got to be clear loss of control. So yeah, you see I don't how think he's he got loses the ball control pinned? there at all. I don't either, Kirk. I, I think this should stand. And that's the call on the field. So it would have to be reversed. They call it a touchdown. This would be some amazing drive if this culminates in a touchdown and an extra point to take the lead. Now, just because I've seen this guy do this so much, and, you know, out of timeouts, why not take a shot? This guy, again, he has elite ball tracking skills and then the ability to locate the football and, and go up and make a play on it. Heck of a matchup against Bland, who's been getting all this attention, and what a throw by Geno Smith away from Bland where he can go out and try to make this catch. So that's in. You've got pass interference in the end zone. 
if they overturn it. Look at Carol loving every second. Guy was a head coach of the New York Jets <laughs> three decades ago. And Jigga mentioned that wrist injury. Now, remember, it, it is pass interference in right. the end zone if this is not a catch. Right. So it, it could come out yeah. to the one yard line. And then, it, and then it comes down to seven seconds. Right. And, and, then, and then what? Yeah. 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 We have time to float one into the end zone. Try for the TD. You got a chip shot three pointer if you want it. Let's see what this is an interesting call. Obviously. Don't have to tell you. This kid, this kid. Yeah. He's got a chance to be an elite player in the NFL. And I think people are just starting to see what he can do. He's an Ohio State guy, of course. Well, I mean, hello? I told you. Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave, if you ask them who they think is the best Ohio State receiver, those three, they'd say this guy. If you don't know, Kirk Herb Street went to. <laughs> Have you ever dotted the I? No. No. Have you? You did Ohio State games back in the day, yeah. didn't you? I think Keith Jackson did once. Anyway. We're filling Ooh, time until we get the. This is interesting, uh, obviously, again. Terry, once again, you, you, you're sticking by what you saw. What do you think? I, I am. Now, they're telling me they're going to reverse this. They really? believe there's a clear loss of control. I, I see ball movement. I still don't see a clear loss After of control. After review, the receiver did not maintain control of the ball through the process. There's an incomplete pass. However, we have a pass interference. Defense number 26 in the end zone. I think they forgot ball about the interference. The one yeah. line. <laughs> First down, no, Seattle. No now question. the booze come. Yeah, the, the crowd thought it was all coming all the way back. Forgetting about the flick, third, third pass interference call against Dallas tonight. All right, so now to see what they were going to come out in and give him credit, he got that timeout in. So you still have those seven seconds. Smith and Jigba comes off the bench, thought he had the touchdown to make it 20 20, sets up wide to the right. And that's the matchup that they would look for. Lockett's in the slot. Metcalf the other way. To Metcalf. He hauls it in. And another, is there a flag down at the three yard line? There is. Here's Blakeman. Offside. Defense number 90. Kelly's declined. His only play is a touchdown. <laughs> it's Lawrence. Well, Pete Carroll at the end of this half is put together a, give his team a chance to put points on the board They hold them to a field goal and then they're able to drive and get points on the board Give credit to Geno Smith in this offense and Bland has had a rough first half the big touchdown early to DK Metcalf for 73 yards Another big completion to DK Looked like a touchdown to Jackson Smith and Jigga, but it's pass interference and now a touchdown here again. Extra to point DK. is good. So this is going to be the ultimate two for one. They're going to get the ball to start the second half. In 90 seconds without a timeout, they just went 75 yards, eight plays, one rush, seven passes into the end zone. Incredible job. And as you say, two for one, they get the ball to start the second half. And here's Bland, who's gotten so much attention for the right reasons. He's playing great for him, but tonight, Seattle's gone after it. In different receivers. DK Metcalf has had some big plays. Here, there's an early touchdown, and, and this we look thought might be another touchdown, but they're get, they're getting him isolated. He's playing man to man. It's a tough thing. Dan Quinn asks you to. Unbelievable energy, oh. dancing, chewing that gum. Yeah, and a masterful job of using those timeouts, not waiting, not hesitating. Had a plan when his defense was out there, getting those timeouts called to secure as much time as he could for Geno Smith. Bouncing ball, this is going to take us to the finish line unless we have the craziest run back in history. And the way this game is going, who knows? Anyway, stopped at the 35-yard line. That's the end of a wild and crazy first half. 21-20, Seahawks on top. State Farm halftime show with the gang coming up right after the break.